that piece. It's called Wonder Woman. Have you ever stopped, stared into the bright blue skies, listened to its winds whisper, witnessed the peaceful clouds gently passing by and wondered how something so beautiful, so elegant, so graceful in the way it moves, form a smile on your face no matter how hard your day <coughs> and still create something as fierce and as powerful as lightning and thunder. Or what about an ant? How tiny it is, and in order to survive, created to lift 5,000 times its own weight. Or how about being able to move a mountain? Yes, a mountain with just a mustard seed size faith. Have you noticed the oceans? How it dances with the beach with every crashing wave, or how the plants lean towards the sun always knowing it provides just the right amount of love and nutrients its roots and flowers forever crave just imagine the same god that spoke these wonders into existence decided to no longer use just his words but his hands to carefully and skillfully shape the uniquely created and powerfully designed you woman before i continue I'd like to ask for your forgiveness in advance for every understatement that follows because you are simply indescribable. If it isn't pulled directly from the pages of the Bible, it falls short on its time of arrival of penetrating your heart and marking you with eternal truth. But I ask for extended graces. I was led to write this poem dedicated to you. So where shall we begin? How about Genesis? See, after God created all of the elements, he then added man to the premises. He added some lions and bears, a few elephants, but something was missing. It was evident, and God knew woman in all of her excellence would be the greatest benefit. So he put man to sleep, opened his side and took out a piece, and there she was, flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. And that was the first time a woman took a rib from a man even though she already had her own. Mm -hmm. But let's think of a grid for a second. And its purpose and the connection and its three main functions to support, support respiration and protection. And I couldn't think of a better collection of words to describe a woman and her affection and the value in her worth. And since birth, woman, you have been given birth to dreams, courage, and wisdom. You are sky, you are earth. And let's be clear, you were never a snack. So please stop calling yourself that. You are always a garden rich in fruits and vegetables that are never in lack. You are grandma's hug plus mother's love times daughter's laughter. You are the peaceful conversation after the disaster. You are overcomer of obstacles. You are a survivor of cancer. You are doctor. You are artist. You are dancer. You are teacher. You are barber. You are pastor. You are singer. You are student. You are actor. You are an angel. Wings waiting in heaven. So there's no red board needed. You are victorious in Christ. You were never defeated. You are no longer a slave. You are a daughter of a glorious king. You are a prayer warrior, a disciple of Jesus, forgiving and loving and worshiping. And, and the list goes on. And it would never fully, fully describe the wonder of woman on fire for God. You. Wow. Thank you.